The Tigers are going to reminisce about their Big South days. The Tiger Basketball Report, brought to you by the Green Turtles, starts now. Welcome fans to another edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. I'm your host, Kiro Marikas, along with the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary. And coach, the Tigers going to face an old foe that probably you didn't even realize were in the same conference with the Tigers back in the early 90s when they were in the Big South and the Liberty Flames. And when you face Liberty, and I know when you made this schedule to play in this tournament, you probably didn't figure that Liberty would be one of the only four remaining undefeated teams left in the country. Well, wow, they're tremendous. Now, we knew they were going to be really good because when we um, agreed to the matchups, they, they had been the NCAA tournament and won a game. So, um, yeah, they're, Richie McKay's done an unbelievable job there. There, there are no weaknesses. Uh, I, I think I was looking, this will be like our sixth game against like a top 60 team in most of the rankings. And uh, they're as good as anyone we faced. Uh, they, you know, including Florida and Xavier. I mean, you know, they're really good. They don't. Their defense is terrific. Um, they play at the slowest tempo in the country, which means that you're, you're going to have to play how they want to play. That doesn't mean they can't score. They can. They really shoot threes. They get to the foul line. I like their two guards. Good, good feel. Good intelligence. They've got wings that shoot it. And they've got a couple horses inside. Uh, James and, and the kid Bell. Uh, that that have skill and, and yeah, like I said, they it's it's a really it's a complete basketball team. That's probably the thing I can say the most. It's a complete team, so it offers a great opportunity for us on you know coming out of exams and playing down in, in D.C. where our conference tournament will be in you know seventy something days after that. So it's 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 it's, it's going to be all the teams in there are good. Akron and Tulane are both terrific teams too. So we're going to get two really really good tests before we break and then. Get in the CAA play. Now, you mentioned that, that this is where the conference tournament is going to be played. I'm sure that had a lot to go into you deciding to play in this event. That had everything. Um, we've tried to play some neutral games here the last, you know, Vegas, Belfast, um, Atlantic City, uh, if I'm forgetting anywhere else. But uh, this Bahamas, this, Fort Myers. Are those, and those, those are multiple team exempt terms with these, these two game deals. And then this worked out with the conference tournament moving there. We thought it was a no-brainer to be able to get on that court in that building a couple of times. I was down there. I've only been in there once. It's where I first saw Jason Gibson play when they won the D.C. championship uh, with, with, with Sidwell Friends. So I liked what I saw that night in that building. Hopefully we can have some more. Uh, we're hoping it's going to be a great venue for us. You know, We're going to get to play in there uh, hopefully a lot. You mentioned Liberty's defense. Opponents only scoring 49% against them. It's points, very, 49 points. 49 points, De correct. Uh, field goal points. percentage, a heck of a lot lower than that's in the 34.5%. Yeah. It's very rare that you see a team that holds their opponents to under 50 points in every game. Yeah, they, there's there's no weaknesses. Uh, they, they're terrific defensively. You know, Richie was with Tony Bennett at UVA, so they're gonna, you know, they, they stay in front of you. They force you to take tough shots. You know, uh, as, as good, talented as they are on the offensive end, I think the, uh, a big key to the game is you have to run good offense. Uh, one thing we've talked about in staff meetings a little bit is if you don't, it's like playing a football game where the time of possession, you don't want that to be like 42 minutes. One team had the ball and the other team had it for 18 minutes and uh, our game's only 40 minutes, but they can do that to you if you're not efficient on offense because they're going to grind you on the other end. And then you'll play either Akron or Tulane in game number two. You faced Tulane last year up in Atlantic City. But they're a new team this year, basically. New coaching staff, and, and they're having more success than they had last year. Yeah, I think year. both those teams are like 7-2, seven 7-3. and, two, seven and three. I haven't you know, gotten into those teams a lot yet. Um, 
but Ron Hunter's doing a great job at Tulane. They're in a power conference, in the American Conference, and Akron's picked right at the top of the Mid-American Conference. Um, with, with you already played Kent State, and they beat you in overtime. So you Yeah, know. we know how good that league is. It's, it's a top-12 league. Uh, so like I said, it's, we, we knew we were going to be playing tough games. Um, you know, once again, I, I've been under the, the belief that those games are going to help us come CAA time, and that, that's, that's almost here. These are our last, uh, last almost couple of tune-ups before we, we get going. So Liberty in the first game, which the Tigers used to play in the Big South, and then Ron Hunter possibly in game two, who the Tigers used to face when he was the head coach at Georgia State. Yeah, my first, uh, especially my, my second year, we had, we had a couple of good, uh, I don't know if they were here the third year. In the second year we had, that was, we had a couple of battles. Yeah, we were banned from playing in the conference tournament, uh, which we, we thanked the old leadership and the CAA for that. And then um, they, they actually were banned too. We might have the two best teams in the league because he had his son, Arjan, who was an NBA right. player. We had a couple of great games. They beat us here at like the buzz, and we beat them down in overtime there in Atlanta. So is uh, yeah, he, he's a good coach. A lot of zones. They play differently, but they've got very very good players. They they picked up a bunch of grad transfers, uh, three of them, and then a kid that got eligible from Georgia right away. So they have talent. All right. So the Tigers will take on Liberty on Friday afternoon at five o'clock. I'll have the call for you on CBS Sports Radio 1300 starting at 445 with the pregame show and TowsonTigers.com. Now, this is an easy one. Liberty alum, come on. You tell me one. Jerry Falwell. Of course. Right. The president of the Can school. you think anybody else? President of the school. Jerry Falwell Jr., I guess. Is that his name? I don't even know. I, I, I got enough to worry about getting ready to play them. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Tigers, again, will take on Liberty. 5 o'clock on Friday afternoon. So for the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary, I'm Spiro Marikas. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Tiger Basketball Report. And as always, go Tigers.